with the definition of sphere of radius. For n k belongs to z plus sphere of radius k centered at x is defined as s of x k is equal to y belongs to z two raised to n such that the distance of x y is less than or equal to k, which also belongs to z two raised to n. That is y belongs to z two raised to n. So here, what is the meaning of this? Here is suppose x is a message of uh, binary data of length n, then y will also be a message of length uh, n, binary data of length n, whose distance from x will be at the most k. It means it could be zero, one, two until k. So that's the meaning of sphere of radius. Suppose example n equal to three and uh, x equal to one one zero, which belongs to the two raised to three. Then S of x one is obtained by writing the code words of again less uh, message of length three, whose uh, distance from x is at the most one. So at the most one means the distance could be zero, which is obtained by writing the x as it is. Then by right flipping each of the bit, I will be getting these uh, words. So by flipping first bit, I'll get zero one zero. By flipping second bit, I'll get one zero zero. By flipping third bit, I'll get one one one. So these are the messages which belongs to S of X one. Similarly, S of X two contains the code words which uh, are obtained by flipping either no bit, zero bit, or one bit. So by flipping no bit, I'll get this. By flipping one bit, I get these three, and by flipping two bits, I'll be getting these three code words. So suppose we see here. So this is a message. If I flip first and second bit, I'll be getting zero zero zero. If I flip second and third bit, I'll be getting one zero one. This one. If I flip first and last, I'll be getting zero one one. So these are the code words or the messages whose uh, who belong to s of x2 now theorem the first theorem states that if e is an encoding function with the set of messages which converts this message into code words uh, of uh, message of length m into code word of length n where message length is less than the code word length then for k belongs to z plus we can detect the transmission errors of weight less than or equal to k if and only if The minimum distance between the code words is at least k plus one. So that is nothing but if suppose the minimum distance between the code words is five, then it can detect the transmission errors of weight four because five I can write it as four plus one where my k is four. Similarly, second theorem states that if the same encryption function. Which can transfers this m bit data into n bit, where m is less than n. Then we can construct a decoding function which converts this n bit data into w, which corrects all the transmission errors of weight less than or equal to k if the minimum distance of the code words is at least 2k plus 1. If you consider that uh, the minimum distance between the code words is 5, then 5 can be written as 2 into 2 plus 1. So where my k will be equal to two, which means that it can correct up to two bit error. That is the meaning of this two theorems. So suppose one example, if you see, w belongs to z two raised to two, and encryption function converts this two bit data into six bit by triple repetition code, which is uh, written here. Encryption of zero zero is zero 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 one is zero one zero one zero one. One zero is one zero one zero one zero. One one is one 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 one. Now here you can observe if you take any two code words, six bit code words, then the minimum distance is three, which indicates that this three I can write it as two plus one, where my k is two, which indicates that I can detect up to two bit error, and this three I can write it as two k plus one, two k plus one, so that <coughs> I can correct. The errors with one bit flip. Just a minute. So that is three. I can write it as two k. That is two into one plus one. So where my k is one, so I can detect two bit error and I can correct one bit error or a single bit errors. Now with s equal to zero 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 one, I'll know that how I find it here. So this is obtained by flipping no bit. And all the remaining six code words are obtained by flipping each of the bits.
bits of the input message. So this is obtained by flipping first bit, second bit, third bit, fourth bit, fifth bit, sixth bit. And uh, the decoding function I can find out here is decoding function z2 raised to 6 to z2 raised to 2. For all these uh, code words, it gives d of x that is decryption will give the message as 0, 0. So similarly, if I take the sphere of radius for 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. So I will get these seven uh, decode, seven code words and for each of these code words, I will be getting the decoding function as 0, 1. So now similarly, if x belongs to z2 raised to 10, determine the size of s of x1, s of x2, s of x3 sizes. So s of x1 size I can obtain by flipping no bit, I will be doing in one way and by flipping each of the bit of the x, since x is 10 bit, I will be getting 10 different code words. So I will be getting 11 words in s of x1. So the size of s of x1 is 11. Similarly, the size of x of x2 is nothing but the size of s of x1 which is 11 plus I can flip 2 bit at a time. So how many 2 bits at a time I can flip? That is 10 choose 2. So it is 11 in plus 45 which is 56. So I can have the number of code words which belongs to s of x2 is 56 code words. Then similarly, the size of S of X3 is 56, which is S of X2 plus 10 choose 3, which is 56 plus 120, which is 176. Now, in general, suppose I have a message of length N, that is input message of length N. So, what is the size of S of XK? So, the size of S of XK is given by summation i varies from 0 to k n choose i. So here this is a general formula. So suppose you want to verify whether it is correct. So for the same previous example if I use what is the size of s of x1 that means k value is 1. It is obtained by first one is 10 choose 10 choose 0 which is 1 then plus 10 choose 1 which is 10. Next is 10 choose 0 plus 10 choose 1 plus 10 choose 2 which is 56. The next one is 10 choose 0 plus 10 choose 1 plus 10 choose 2 plus 10 choose 3 which is 176. So this is how we can write the general formula for the size of S of XK for a n bit message. Thank you. We will continue in the next video.